fan. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a faux fur collar that not only is going to be DIY, so it's going to be incredibly inexpensive, but it's going to be detachable so you can attach it onto any oh, coat, a t-shirt, a sweater, a vest like I'm wearing. It's really fun and it costs a fraction no of sewing machine. You can dress it up, dress no it sewing down. Machine. You know, no sewing machine, yeah. I do see glue. No, so hot how glue. are you gonna <laughs> yes, hot glue? Yes, yes. How do we detach with hot okay, glue? So all, magnets, okay, so all yeah, so it's the magnets. This mm. is what it really all comes down to. I'm gonna link to these these exact magnets that I bought on my website so you guys can get these. They're incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. They really give wow. you everything that you need. It comes with like 50, so you can make never-ending collars. See, it'll just like <laughs> <laughs> so what you're gonna do, uh, so yeah, so you need your you need your fur, you need a hot glue gun, scissors, and your magnets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so let's get started. Let's get started, I right? How to do this. So the first thing that you need is your material. If you happen to have, like I have right here, this I bought at a thrift store. It's its own little scarf. So you could use this if you have it and you know you love it and mm -hmm. go for it. If not, go to a fabric store and look in the faux fur section. The fabric is going to come... You can see how long this is. Oh, it's really oh, soft. Nice. Oh, wow. Cool? Nice soft. That is. Yeah, and there's really beautiful bright colors. We actually have a photo of this really cool um, jacket. It's got a bright blue color. This was one of the biggest trends. That's these beautiful. Really cool colors. So yeah. if you can get your hands on a color like this, do it. If not, we have another photo of a more kind of classic fur look. This is on Olivia Palermo. She's seen in fur all over New York City. She's one of my favorite. And so you can do that as well. So your fabric is going to come like this. When you buy fabric, the goods are going to be a certain width. So this is a, probably about 60 inches. This is the width of it, mm -hmm. no matter what. I only okay. bought an eighth of a yard. So that's what this distance is here. Oops. Okay. okay. A little yeah, I don't want to get anybody. So that's our distance here. Mm -hmm. So all you need is an eighth of a yard. This cost me like $3. Oh. So it's like, not. I mean, these are super, super inexpensive to make. But so, I, if, if I'm using something, because my mom had one of these. Yeah. But, well, am I going to ruin it? No, because, so I'll show you, if you can see in here. See this magnet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yeah. is, this isn't adhered at all. Oh, it's the, ma and they're, that's they're not, this yeah, is what we're saying how strong these are. So see, the magnet is here, so all you would do is place it where you want that's it, and brilliant. it's it's so strong that it's going to find it. Shut the front door. <laughs> you don't even, yeah, you don't even need to know where it is. It just finds it, because it's so strong. Wow. So that's it. So that's the reason why it doesn't damage okay. it, and it doesn't damage your clothes. But what okay. about, like, cutting it to make sure that it's the yes. perfect size so for you? So here we've got a couple of coats. Mm -hmm. um, what you would do, what I would recommend doing, is put it on mm -hmm. and just sort of lay it over and figure out the length that you would want. So let's say for this one, I want to do a longer collar, and I'm like, you know what? That dresses up that coat just like that. Right? Yeah. Isn't it? And Look isn't the that color so beautiful? It is. So this is, this is it. So I'm like, okay, that's a good point. So now take it off. You know that that's about what mm -hmm. you want, and just cut. Okay. Very easy. Yada yada yada. You cut. So now this is the length. You could, if you wanted, and you're comfortable with a sewing machine, you could sew it so that it becomes a little bit skinnier. Anytime you're sewing anything, you always go face to face. This is the face of the fabric. So you go face to face, and then you would sew and mm -hmm. flip it I inside, inside out. out, right? Okay, okay. okay. so that's, that's an obvious. Now, for this one, what I'm gonna do is I wanna create that little, these sort of subtle points, yeah. it kind of curves. Mm -hmm. So in order to do it without a sewing machine, we're gonna just go like this. And so we're just gonna glue it, right? Oh, okay. I mean, why not? Yeah, it's only $3. So, yeah, come on. Okay. Yeah. I right. can't believe how easy you make these things. Yeah, you well, do. Well, they are. They're not, they don't look fast. easy. They are Jill easy. Jill inspired me. Wow. Okay. So that would be basically, and if you've got a little extra point there, just you think it. might, yeah, just yeah. get rid of it. Okay. So now the next thing is your magnet. You're going to just glue one side of the magnet. Mm -hmm. So if you can see, a little hot glue action. And you just mm. plop, plop it. There. I'll hold. Yeah, exactly. and leave it like that. And now Good you would do like you would do the other side, <laughs> and that way when you lay it on your collar, you've got your anchor point. Could you uh -huh. show us how you attach it to the collar? Is well, it, yeah. I mean, so like coat. So like the other side, just for speed sake, yeah, we won't do. But do you need another one. Yeah, there thank you. you. So you would just pick your placement, and then under here, it just it holds right there. And it's mag and, it and so it it's place. it's in place. So, uh -huh. you know, and you can see even that's yes. really subtle and super simple. You would obviously, you know, take a take little a bit little more time. Right. And how Another, many magnets would you want to put around the outside? Do you need more than just the well, three, either end? I other so end? for example, for this one, this is a short collar. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm gonna just you know, put a Mark's collar here. I'm actually gonna. Him. There you go. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That feels very nice. Yeah. So, here. for this, what I did just so you can see mm -hmm. real quick, 
There's one that you can, I mean, I don't even have to do them, right? You can just see they plop right on. So I did two neck anchors because what that's going to do is it's going to hold right here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes on a shorter collar, oh, I see. you oh. want it, yes. you want to hold really it. nice. Yeah. So, and then you would do it here. Look at this. that. That is genius. I so love that. So this is the shorter one. We are going to put the full instructions on this fabulous DIY that Orly has provided that for us really uh, nice. uh, on our you know, on our page, it. or you can go to orlyshanny.com. Don't go away because we have some favorite home and family moments that we're going to share with you all day long. They're so next, great. Fabio Viviani is going to show us how to make his delicious pork shoulder next. Beautiful. I, really I love that. that was so